Hey, uh, how you doing everyone? Force Raider here and welcome back to another episode of Tangled Tower. I am really hoping that uh, that I have <laughs> enough of the game left to do a whole video because it kind of felt like I was getting pretty close to something last time. And uh, sorry again for it taking so long. Uh, busy, busy, busy. And uh, unfortunately just not a whole lot of time to sit here and record and then edit and whatnot. You know. Anyway. Eh, enough of that. Let's just get into the game. Hmm. So now I got like two things I really want to uh, look into. Now they got this, and then there's the whole deal upstairs in Flora's room. I mean, it, it, it's pretty likely that somebody's up in there, or something important is in that space above a room. In this weird little doohickey. Oh, look! It even revealed it now. Yeah, I'm gonna go check that out first. Are you kidding me? How do I access up there? This wait, what? We got a suspicion here? So, this painting, specifically that knife in Flora's hand. Yeah, it's creepy. But we didn't find a knife anywhere in the room. So what's going on? Not like she's gonna say anything. It's yeah. not a knife. We need a clue to compare with the painting. Something to explain what that knife shape actually is. Oh, that's easy. It's the feather. Uh, gotta find the... There we go. Let's take a closer look at this. Dude, dude. The painted knife is actually just a feather. <laughs> From a swamp monster last game. Ink dip bird. The knife is actually just a feather from an ink dip bird. It's definitely the right shape, but the book's not in color. The thing Flora's holding in the painting is red and white, specifically. Is there anything to suggest that the ink dip bird is red and white too? Oh, yes. Let's go ahead and. Not that. There we go. This little thing? I don't understand why Felix would make a model of this bird as part of a gift for Flora. And come to think of it, why would Flora be holding a feather in the painting anyway? Remembrance? I don't know. It was probably what was inside the egg. Yep, there we go. The ink bird was Flora's pet, so she kept a single feather. To remember it by. She kept the bird as a pet. And it died? Maybe. Maybe it flew away. Flora spends all her time staring out the window. Either way, she kept the feather. I think it was pretty important to her. All right. So she was holding the feather while Freya was painting her. But where is it now? You'd think she'd keep it somewhere close by. Yeah, I think she does. Normally, this is where Flora usually keeps her feather. Oh, in the egg? Yeah. That we opened it. It's empty. Mm-hmm. Completely empty. That was it? That's all we got out of that. We're at the top of the tower, right? Uh-huh. I think so. Why? It doesn't matter. It's nothing. I swear, I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh, uh, like this. I'm stupid. Why did I think I, I would, like, find a hatch in there that I can then go to it from? Moths and shit in here. Just dusty junk. What is that? Not sure. Some kind of reel? Looks like it might attach to something. Oh, I didn't actually expect it to be something. Brass reel with a screw at the top. Coiled around the reel is a length of fine red rope. Huh. Okay. What's in that little box? I bet it's bones. A skull, at least. You know, maybe I won't open it. Oh, 
gotta open it, man. It's a statue of a wolf. Standing up straight, like a man. You know, there's a name for that. I know. It's not quite as dusty as everything else up here. Also, it's not a statue. It's stuffed. Oh. Yeah. I would not want to admit that I just found a stuffed werewolf. Someone painted out the window. Do you think it was done recently? No idea. Either way, it's pretty suspicious. Why are there so many moths around here? Nothing catching my interest. I'm sorry, is this spooky attic boring you? Kind of. <laughs> Where's that light coming from? Well, it's just daylight, I think. There's a decent gap between those floorboards. Ooh. What? Is that what I think it is? Yeah, it's the murder scene. Hmm. A reel with a line. A gap above, place where the murder happened. Missing red feather. Sally, you don't have a dust allergy, do you? No. Do you? Let me put it this way. Hush! It's a jar. The head screws off. Huh. Hmm. Still got room for like four more clues. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to skip ahead a little bit. Let's go get that one piece of music played again. Where's my little thing? Oh, there we go. A wooden toy of some kind. Yeah. It's an interesting shape. Hmm. Have we got going on right here? We know a little more about the crime scene now. So, what do you think? Was Freya stabbed by her own painting? No. Oh, I see where I got it wrong. I just had to switch over to that. From the paint pot was used to paint the red tip of the painted ink dip feather to resemble a bloody knife. I think you're right. Can't decide if I'm disappointed or relieved. I have a question. Why? Either it's a very strange coincidence, or somebody set it up. Somebody deliberately put blood in the paint pot and hid that feather after the crime. Why? To distract us? Possibly. Well, it worked. Possibly. Flora's the only person who could have hidden the feather, unless someone took it from her. Let's go over what we do know. The door was locked the whole time. It stayed locked until Fitz kicked it down. Normally, it can only be opened from the inside. Pointer said he couldn't see Freya from his telescope, but he did see Flora lying by the window. So whatever got Freya, got Flora too? Except Flora survived. She didn't get a stab wound like Freya did. Hold on. If there was no knife, then what did stab Freya? Uh, it could be anything. It might not even be important. How is it not important? Right now, I'm less interested in the what, and more interested in the how. The angle of Freya's wound suggests she was stabbed at a perfect right angle. That is, from directly in front of her. But she was standing right up by the canvas. Somehow, Freya ended up lying on her back, still perfectly in line with a painting. Maybe something went through it. Through the painting? Wouldn't that leave a hole? Okay, well, how about this? How do we know Freya was stabbed before she fell over? Maybe her being stabbed and her falling over are completely unrelated. You mean like she stabbed herself to get blood for her ink pot? Hmm. And I forgot about the whole bit that, uh, 
Cora at some point was unconscious during whatever it was that happened. I'm take a minute and think about this. Weirdly enough, it almost feels like Hawkshaw would be the most likely person at this point. Like, what if she gassed the room? It's an open air area, so how would the gas knock her out? Oh, both of them out. A thread in the attic means that somebody could have maybe tried to fish something off of Freya while she was on the ground, like maybe they were gassed. Feels like Hawkshaw really is the prime suspect if she was trying to get back the beetle that Freya was supposed to have, and like Hawkshaw was supposed to get back the beetle from Freya for Professor Pointer and she used the string to get it back maybe some because of like the fact that Freya didn't have as much blood in her body still kind of screwy hmm oh yeah i'm gonna talk to hawkshaw now some breed of amphibious humanoid potentially bipedal although none of the statues show the creature's feet i guess we'll never know it's not really the important part about that but okay Conveniently left anonymous. It's useless until you can prove to whom it concerns. Can you do that? No. No. What is that? I'm not sure. It looks like it attaches to something else. Why don't you go back and double check the area you found it? Maybe you'll find the rest of the something else. I'm not so sure about that. I was pretty thorough. Wait a minute. I still don't understand, like, how this is of any use. And I need a second cassette to run in the gramophone. And again, whoever was in the music room probably, like, tested out some kind of note. It came out of the, the statue and it shattered the glass. That could be what knocked everybody out. And then they put it on a cassette that played in the gramophone which cracked the cassette, the gramophone, and the paint pots, and knocked everybody out in the room. Um, that, that's not as ridiculous, now that I think about it. Also, there's some serious stuff going on with this painting. And I'm starting to think that the small lens that we have here and this reel somehow go together. There's obviously more pieces missing. Still locked, huh? Haven't seen this one in a while. He lives in the music room, doesn't he? Currently. Hello. Who penned this juicy little number? We don't know. It's not signed. An anonymous letter? Mm, I didn't mean to click. Classic clue. Is that for sewing? Maybe. We have no idea. Ugh. You know, I think I haven't shown her everything that I have in here either. Just do that real quick. If there's anything interesting in the dialogue, I'll include it. And if not, oh well. You know, it's probably quite impressive. To a visitor, fresh eyes and all that. Not to you. Try living in it for 20 years. <laughs> the sheen wears off. If it wasn't for my fits, I'd have little reason to stay. What about inheritance? You're the next oldest pointer after your uncle, aren't you? Well, thank you very much for phrasing it like that. But no, any money left in the pointer family will pass down directly to Poppy. Is that fair? I couldn't care less, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I believe that's a yes. Oh, that's rather sad. Freya doesn't take very good care of her pains, does she? But then, she was always rather bohemian. Had her own priorities. Poppy's gramophone! She's had it for a long time. As a young child, she'd call it her mama phone. On account of it belonging to her mother. That's cute. Oh yes, adorable. Oh, terrible. You recognize it? A color scheme! Three different pinks. Obscene. <laughs> I can't decide what's worse. How she looks here, or how she looks now. Do you know who this is? In the photo? Oh, absolutely no idea. 
Looks a little simple for Poppy, doesn't it? Thought she was a grade 12 or something. I didn't know there were that many grades. I'm sure they invented some new ones just for her. She really hates Poppy. I don't know what that is. I know a lot of people rather like this painting, but it's a little much for me. I find it overbearing. And for some reason, it makes me feel bad for Freya. I think she was more troubled than we knew. An especially fancy cage. And it's home to three especially fancy birds. Oh! And those must be the birds from those feathers from outside. Three really colored birds at a heavy ornate cage. Interesting. Let's ask her about that. I must say the girls are awfully well behaved today. I think they know we're in the presence of company. They belong to you. Why do you keep them in a cage? They need a special diet, particular treatment. I let them out to fly occasionally, of course. Uh, but they're all one of a kind. I, I, I couldn't let anything happen to them. Do they have names? Of course. Let me introduce you to Tabitha, Tamara, and Tatiana. I've already forgotten all three of those names. Which one is which? Oh, that's simple. Tatiana is the oldest, Tabitha is the most patient, and Tamara has the best sense of rhythm. Glad we cleared oh. that up. What about the one on your head? On my head? He's just my hat. He doesn't have a name. Who would name their hat? It's a pretty ornate hat. My little writing desk. It's kind of cute. There's nothing written in the book, although someone's torn a page out of the middle. Mm, that's interesting. I don't like mirrors. They steal your soul. How do you get your hair so symmetrical without using a mirror? I do it by weight. I can feel if one side is heavier than the other. Huh. That's interesting. Could be a lot of running around. And everybody and show them everything. Don't you think that's weird? That the letter isn't addressed to anyone or signed by anyone? Someone's being deliberately secretive. Or they're trying to manipulate you. Mm, either either or the other. Where did you find this? It was in the attic. Oh, huh. I forgot we even had an attic. Feels like she knew what it was. I think it's kind of cruel to keep three birds in one cage like that. Does Penny not let them out to fly? Oh, she does. She must do. But I don't think they're allowed to go far. Penny can be a little protective. Okay. One old wooden bookcase. Yep. Twenty-five dry old books. Mm-hmm. Four lit candles. Yeah. Am I the only one seeing the problem? Fire hazard? No, I get it. Are they paper lanterns? Whatever they are, I like them. It's like a little parade of floating spirits. There's a faded mural on the wall. When I was a kid, I never knew the difference between a mural and a mosaic. You still don't know, do you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like there was a. Sound like she's upset about that. Oh, thank goodness, there are seven lit candles. I wouldn't want it to be dark in here. A little tea set. Looks recently used. One of the cups has tea in it. What's in the other one? Birdseed. I don't know if I noticed that last time. That bed. It's like something from a fairy tale. Does it feel warm over here? Or is it just... No, you're right. Maybe the bed has some kind of heater. Hmm. It's not coming from the bed. It's coming from the wall. There's space here. I thought I had something to do with this. Maybe there's supposed to be something here. When did that happen? <sighs> oh, isn't this lovely? I wonder if I'm going to get this video file back. It's all corrupted. Great. So I... Uh, I probably won't have any face cam footage for the first half 
Maybe, maybe not. I have no idea. Um, it says there's like a 14 gig file on there. It's corrupted. I've restored it, but it's not like wanting to play. Maybe it'll work in the uh, editing software. Maybe not. I guess the, <laughs> let's find out later. And also, if the camera messes up again. I got a lot of crap I haven't asked him anything about. Nice painting. Gives you a pretty good idea of the layout. The lake looks like it forms a perfect circle around the island. It might seem strange to you, but nature is quite capable of producing perfectly geometric forms. And those mountain cliff things around the outside? We don't know much about them. They're unscalable. Not even Freya could have gone up there. What's that? This painting. It's speculative. There are no photographs from this angle, as far as I know. So Freya just made it up. Let's call it an informed estimation. Uh, maybe that's why she has nightmares about that damn rock. Because, uh, you know, she, she wants to climb it. Or maybe she's scared of heights. Who knows? Maybe she's just annoyed that she can't get over that. Who gave you that information? Uh, well... We don't actually know who it was. We were contacted anonymously. I see. And what happens if the person who contacted you turns out to be the murderer? I never thought about that. Honestly, that would be kind of fun. Like a twist, you know? What do you think that is in Flora's hand? I don't know. It does look like a knife. But Flora wasn't holding anything at all when I saw her after the murder. But there's something bothering me. Something else. What? When we went into Flora's room, she wasn't standing in this position. Well, she probably would have moved around a little bit by then. She wasn't standing at all. She was kneeling on the floor. There's something off about this. What is it? Why don't you take another look at Flora's room? You think we missed a clue up there? Not exactly. I've seen beetles with brightly colored shells, metallic shells even. They're relatively common, especially around here. There's a difference between that and actual gold. It can't be actual gold. Gold is just inside the earth or whatever. You can't make it. It's called alchemy. It was a whole thing. Penelope knows about birds. You should ask her instead. Actually, I wanted to ask you about something. There's a plant mentioned on this page, see? Do you have any? In the greenhouse? No, I don't grow that anymore. I've tried, in the past. It's incredibly difficult, even for me. I could never get it to live more than a couple of weeks. Freya's best work, in my opinion. Although, the photo doesn't carry the same energy as the real thing. What do you think it's a painting of? What do you mean? Like, what's the subject matter? What's that big red thing? Oh, I don't think it's that kind of painting. It's Fifi and Freya. Don't you think Poppy should be in the photo too? Maybe, maybe not. She doesn't really like crowds. Two people isn't a crowd. Right, but if she was in the photo, then it'd be three. Check. Mate. Penelope's three favorite birds. She's very protective over them. Are they, like, her pets? Do they have names? Oh, they have names. Penelope loves to name things. Do you remember what she named them? I do not. Oh, I got some achievements. Spooky. What do you think it's for? I think it's to scare away detectives. Is it working? No. It's a statue of some hideous, scaly, bipedal fish monster. Playing a harp. Playing a harp. Hang on a second. Wait. There's a friggin' a puzzle here the whole time. Statue, is it? Something tells me we're not gonna solve this just yet. Let's come back later. At least now I know what that's about. Something. You'd hope so, wouldn't you? Well, at least I got another clue. Start asking people about Swamp Monster. Mm -hmm. Oh good, the camera's still working. Three birds, one cage. What makes them worth keeping cooped up, I wonder? Would they not be happier flying free? 
But then they might fly away from Tangle Tower entirely. I wonder if they would. Have you deciphered the meaning of those four symbols on the harp? We're working on it. That's a no then. A wooden Quack. trunk that opens up into a full desk. I want one. It's of no interest to me, but I overheard Poppy and Freya talking about it once. What were they saying? They were arguing about something, but I can't remember the details. Huh. That's a decent lead. What do you make of the statue? I know that's the only harp in the whole of Tangle Tower. I've never actually seen a real one. Maybe it's from before your time. Oh, definitely. You see how old this statue is? What about the symbols? One of them looks like piano keys. Yeah. Weird. Uh-huh. More not telling me everything, huh? I'm sure I've read about this creature somewhere. Don't remember anything about him playing the harp, though. Why is that in standby? This is starting to drive me crazy. My camera keeps having all kinds of weird little issues. I don't even remember where I left off. Oh, yeah. Asking everyone and everything about everything. A very old statue indeed. I'd recommend you leave it well alone. The poor fellow's in bad enough shape as it is. Well, aren't you just suspicious as shit? The statue itself does not interest me, but I do wish to know about those symbols on the harp. Have you deciphered their meaning yet? We're working on it. We are. Bizarre things, aren't they? Penelope seems rather attached to them. Do you not feel sorry for them in that little cage? Uh, come now, I I'm sure they could leave if they really wanted to. Rather ugly, isn't it, as far as statues go? Years of wind and rain have not been kind to it either. Do you know what it is? Uh, the creature, I mean. It's connected to the Remington family history in some way, but uh, I, I can't recall. Huh. She questioned me. About what? My work, the plants, a bit of everything. Did she search the greenhouse? No, she didn't. You sure? Maybe she did it when you weren't in there. No, she hasn't touched it. How can you tell? Trust me, I can tell. There's something about Hawkshaw's handheld microscope. Something suspicious. Uh, so how did we come to this conclusion? Just been talking with. Let's ask pets. her about it. This little microscope thing? You said you used it to search the greenhouse. And this would make perfect sense. If you knew what my client had asked me to find. Of course, I still have no intention of disclosing that information. You're such a tease, Hawkshaw. Don't worry, we already worked out what you're searching for. Yep, golden beetle. Mm-hmm, okay, but there we go. You're not as hopeless as you look. Thanks. So, that's what you were looking for in the greenhouse? This beetle? Surely even you can understand the logic of it. The greenhouse is home to a great many insects. The gardener could have easily kept the beetle hidden in there. Well, Fitz said you questioned him, but didn't actually search the greenhouse. Hmm. He's not exactly the type to appreciate subtlety. He simply didn't notice that I was using my microscope. What do you reckon, Grimoire? 
I know for a fact she didn't use the microscope in the greenhouse. Ah. It's not a microscope at all. All of a sudden, Detective Grimoire is some kind of expert on microscopes. Oh, yeah. I can't remember what it was about this, but it was something weird about it. The handheld microscope, according yep. to Fifi, uses a telescopic lens. So Hawkshaw lied about it. I'm inclined to believe Fifi when it comes to stuff like this. Hawkshaw, why did you lie about owning a telescope? When you were a child, what did you aspire to become? Uh... A detective, naturally. Emperor of the galaxy. I wanted to be an astronomer. Really? I harbored a desire to understand the secrets of the wider universe. A fool's errand, to be sure. But a seductive one. At 15, I decided instead to apply my intelligence to the world around me. And so, I became a detective. But the yearning for elusive knowledge is a powerful force. I tried to keep it with me. Sorry, but we're way off track. What's the deal with the little telescope? A memento. My childhood. Little more than a toy. Why did you bring it with you? When I discovered that it was Professor Pointer who had hired me, I dared to consider it something of a planetary alignment. I had hoped he might sign my telescope. An extremely childish indulgence, I admit. I never would have guessed. Hold on. You're admitting you didn't use it in the greenhouse then? Correct. As it happens, I have no need to search the greenhouse to such a degree. Professor Pointer doesn't consider the gardener a suspect in our theft investigation. So, who is your suspect? Things have become complicated. My lead suspect is your murder victim. Yeah! I don't feel really much of anything like I've gotten somewhere with that. Just know that she didn't want to admit that the little... I already knew all this. I already knew all this. It was, I guess the game just needed to know that I knew. Oh. Oh. Let's come back later. It's full of the same weird water that was in the lake. Any fish in there? Not a single one. Although there is something in there. It's a cassette tape. Or it used to be. Oh my god. Image cassette tape. That tape has been damaged by water. The ink on the label is blurred and illegible. Ah, oh, you tell me if I could have just clicked that water, I would have found that. Yep. Yeah. Let's go listen to it. If it even plays. I'm sure, it's the missing sound bite. Nightmare fuel sounding stuff. Yes. Weird. It's someone humming it too. Oh, so I got the final one, huh? I want to hear this to the end. Interesting. That's all four melodies, I think. So, what do we do with them? Should we go back to the gardens again? I want to look around a little bit, actually. I think I still have one last piece of evidence I haven't found yet. A 
it's musty in here. What exactly does that mean? What is must? Must. You ask such stupid questions. Nice. <laughs> is that a snow globe? Of sorts. Oh. Have I not found this before? Neat. Hey, look at that. It's a model of Tangle Tower. There's a lake and those weird mountains. What are you thinking? That would make an amazing souvenir. It is pretty cool. Oh, I got an achievement for that. Nice. It's a birdhouse. Are those real birds? I have been clicking around in this room for a while now. Nope, they're wooden. <sighs> they're using up all the perches. What if a real bird wanted to use it? Okay, so all the bird positions of seven birds. This has got something to do with the birds. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. I like to know her. Um, it doesn't look like that's got anything to do with it. Center. Yes. I got it. What? I'm impressed. Did the door open? What's it? I don't know. Crumpled up paper, a ripped piece of paper crumpled into a ball. Red flower petals were found inside. A message is angrily scrawled onto the paper. Now I'll get her. The flower petals originate from red roses growing the rooftop garden. Ah, uh, yes, but with it being in there, um, I can't help but feel like it probably lines up with the torn piece of paper. In Penny's room. I can't believe I got that thing on the first try either. Did it really matter how I did it? Yeah, I'm betting this is the book right here that the page is torn out of. Mm, that's uh, rather strange now, isn't it? We found it in your room. Just lying around, was it? Nope. You'd hidden it, but we found it. We do that. Who's the her in the message? And what's the deal with the petals? It's really none of your business. Probably something to do with her deep-seated hatred of Poppy. There's something about those petals we found in Penny's room. Something suspicious. Let's ask her about it. Yeah, let's do it now. We were already here. Uh, so, yeah, we found this. Oh, <laughs> that, that's nothing. You wrote, now I'll get her, on a piece of paper and hid it in your room. That's not nothing. Actually, it's not the message I wanted to ask about. It's those red flower petals. The petals. The plant on the garden upstairs, one side was a little goofy. They're from red roses. And there's only one place in Tango Tower with red roses. We need a clue. Something that shows the roses and who they belong to. Hmm. It's a drawing of Fitz and Poppy in the rooftop garden. See what Fitz is holding? Yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine what you're getting at, but it doesn't matter. I couldn't have taken anything from the rooftop garden. It's only accessible from Fitz's room or Poppy's room. How could I have taken something from a garden to which I have no access? Is it really only accessible from those two bedrooms? For most people, it would be. But don't forget, Penny's the resident ornithologist. My dears, what are you accusing me of? Using her birds as reconnaissance? Get out of your smug beverage, jeez! I don't know. One of Penny's birds <gasps> was used Ooh. to spy on Poppy and Fitz and steal evidence from them. We know hmm, those two I thought that was a little far fetched. Together in the rooftop garden. I'm guessing you got paranoid. Wanted to know what they were up to. I'm just not the jealous type. I would never suspect Fitz of anything like that. 
Besides, Tabitha hardly ever leaves her cage. She's certainly never flown up to the rooftop garden. We need a clue to compare with Penny's birds. Something to prove one of them has been in the rooftop garden. Oh, I think I've got just the thing. A big pile of feathers. Let's take a closer look at these. Mm-hmm. This yellow feather was left behind by Penny's yellow bird when it visited the rooftop garden. I can't stand it! Knowing the two of them are hidden away up there in their private little garden. I couldn't risk spying on them myself. So I asked dear Tabitha to do it for me. I knew she'd be able to bring me back some evidence. Sorry, Penny, but are you not overreacting a little? You don't understand. Fitz is slipping away from me. He's so quiet with me these days. But being with Poppy seems to bring him out of his shell. I don't know what he sees in her miserable little... <laughs> I apologize. This really isn't your burden to bear. Well, maybe if you'd notice you made a freaking flower that looks like you. That's everybody, though. So I guess we can go ahead and do this bit down here now. Let's try this again. Mm-hmm. You know, I think we might be able to... That's gotta be right. Nothing. Maybe it's broken. Wait. Do you hear that? Isn't the Grimoire scared of this thing? Where do you think it goes? Down. Yeah, let's go. Let's do this. Freaking secrets underneath the building. Oh. Underneath. Hmm. I wonder. Oh, yeah. Uh, this might be a short chapter. I know I've been recording for a really long time, even though it might not seem like it, because so much has been edited out or is just plain old missing from issues. It's really just the webcam problems. This is just weird. Oh, ho, 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 sorry. Sorry, I, uh... I did not mean to, uh, to do this, but I have to split this video into two because unfortunately it's about almost four hours long in this recording. So it's just, you're just gonna have to wait. You just have to wait to see the ending. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I really don't want to do that, but you know, just go ahead and give it over with give everybody what they want and see the ending uh i can't i can't because it'd be like a two hour video after i got done editing everything down don't worry it shouldn't take too long for the final episode to come out so anyway thank you all so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it if you just have a video voice why don't you go ahead and leave your comments down below and i'll get back to making more awesome videos for you guys later